Welcome to Midtown. Dave Morris for the Oklahoma and alongside my friends from Downtown Oklahoma City Partnership. With some excitement in the background, a bocce ball court. Danielle Dodson, Stacey Sanger. Great to see you ladies. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah. We're just discussing our coffee options, uh, but also <laughs> uh, bocce ball. Stacey, I'll start with you. What's going on behind us? So the Midtown Association decided what was lacking in the Midtown District was some sort of activity that residents and visitors and even downtown employees could come out maybe on a lunch break or after work and just spend some time outside getting to know their neighbors. So the idea was born from one of our board members who is a professional bocce ball player. I don't know if that's legitimately <laughs> professional or just really great at it, but the idea was born to put two bocce courts out here and now you're seeing it. Uh, Danielle, how are your bocce ball skills? Um, I'm I'm probably the worst at bocce ball, but I really enjoy watching it. <laughs> so there's something for everyone. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty easy. I think you can come out here in any attire and have a good time after dinner, or ice cream, whatever. All right, so Danielle, how long has the bocce ball court been in play? Yeah, um, it opened last Tuesday okay. and then Dusty finished up the mural that week. Um, so it's been full on going since Friday with the mural and everything complete. So it's been exciting to come by literally every evening and it be packed with people playing. All right, what do people need to know? Do they check out the bocce balls? Do they give their driver's license? Like, you know, if you're playing pool or someplace, you're like, no, no. <laughs> it's basically a free for all. We just ask that people be respectful to anyone who's waiting to use the court. So you can just use the balls that are provided here and read the rules on the wall if you're a first timer or brand new to bocce ball and have fun. This is an example of some of the, uh, the things that uh, Downtown OKC Partnership provides placemaking for lack of a better word. That's exactly the word. That's the correct word to use. So basically it means taking a space that is currently not being used, not being utilized, particularly in an urban core, although this can work anywhere, and turn it into a place made for people. So as you can sh see over here, we tried to use um, a canopy over here for some shade and then also some seats so that anyone who's just walking by can also just take a second and relax, then added the games and some colorful art as well. So those are all kind of elements that we've used before in making something that hasn't felt like a place become a place for people. How does this develop from the business side of things? Do you have to uh, approach whoever owns the property or the land? And I'm assuming there's some negotiations and things that have to happen. <laughs> That's exactly right. We are actually really blessed with incredible property owners in Midtown. This space was donated to us by Midtown Renaissance. So um, we just came to them with the request, the need for a space for people. And they said, we have the perfect spot. Um, we worked with a general contractor, Justin Jocelyn Design to, it was actually his brainchild. We said, we want bocce. And he said, I know what to do. Yeah. And then um, Dusty Gilpin became our artist on the wall and presented this idea for a sign. We were thinking, I mean, if it was left to us, we would have put like a decal on the wall with simple sure, rules. Yeah. So it really takes an artist to, to fully form that thought to make this happen. All right. So Danielle mentioned that it just opened days ago. Uh, what's the timeline? Is this here permanent or just here for now? It's here for now. Um, we haven't set a deadline yet. That will depend a lot on whether or not Midtown Renaissance is ready to develop the property. So, I mean, as you can see, it's prime real estate. So the second that they want something new and amazing to happen, we consider that a success of placemaking. We want to highlight a place and tell the public it could be more. It could be more than an empty lot. It could be more than just a surface parking lot. And so if this becomes developed in the next year and a half, two years, we would consider that a success. All right, well said. I'm here alongside Stacy and Danielle outside the bocce ball court in Midtown. Uh, I should say that it's 9th and Hudson-ish, just north of 9th. Uh, and as we tape this, Danielle, it is August 1st, which for the kiddos in Oklahoma City Public Schools, that means they are back to school and you guys have a back to school uh, event coming up as well. Yeah, um, we are sponsors of the Teacher Appreciation Day at the Oklahoma City National um, Memorial Museum. And so teachers can go there on August 7th for free with one guest. Um, and that's sponsored by Downtown Oklahoma City Partnership. And so we, we just wanna give back to those um, teachers that work so hard and just kind of a reward for going back for school. Um, if you missed their last one, you can go to this one. And, and then there's a couple other events that are happening in uh, Midtown. Uh, Black Scintilla is having their uh, Teacher Appreciation Day, and that's this Saturday. And so she's going to have mimosas and massages for teachers. So come and shop and get pampered a little while you're there. Well, speaking of the beverages, and by the way, you can find informa information that they're mentioning in events on downtownokc.com. 
Uh, I believe Coop and Oktoberfest are coming back. Yes, Coop is also having a event this weekend. So at Schlegel Bicycles, you can purchase a $20 ticket that's going to get you tastings for all of their uh, fall beers. So it's Coop's Oktoberfest. And the great thing about that is a good reason to, to drink some beer is it benefits the Automobile Alley Association. So um, we're the beneficiary of that event. So come out and drink and get that taste of fall. You know, to that point, I guess we should mention the funding for things like this comes from various events. That's exactly right. The one she's talking about, Automobile Alley Association, actually funds the amazing light curtain display that we see during downtown in December on Broadway. So that money is critical to making downtown a beautiful place. And Oktoberfest is a tasty beverage. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> one one yeah. final thing on the, uh, on the beverage front, uh, some champagne in our future. Yes, Pop is returning August 10th, and um, that benefits the St. Anthony's Foundation. So it's a $100 ticket, and you get tastings of all the different sparkling wines and champagnes, and they're even bringing back the whiskey tasting and cognacs this year, oh. and scotch, yeah. Fancy. And if you're interested in that, and maybe the ticket might be out of your price range, follow us on Twitter. We'll be giving away something in the next few days, so enter to win um, that. Very good. All right, Danielle and Stacy from Downtown OKC Partnership. I'll let them get back to the bocce ball court. Thank you very yeah. much for your time this morning. <laughs> Running over right now. And more, more event information can be found on their website at downtownokc.com.